I'm an illustrator by nature. It's kind of genetic. Design is totally puts me in the same meditative place. I could design stuff 24 seven, just go, 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 and forget to eat, forget to sleep. I have a world of wonderful toys to be made afterwards. I knew once I had that controller in my hand flying that drone, that the world was changing. Flying, I, I'm very passionate about flying. It started from a bunch of friends in a field. We didn't know it at the time, but at the time we were just having fun racing together. That caught fire worldwide and it is capturing the imaginations and taking pilots on a whole new journey that they never thought they'd be a part of. We already knew we were growing into a league, something bigger than us. It just evolved. We started the Aerial Sports League. Aerial Sports League basically puts on races and qualifies pilots for the big leagues. We're fixing a lot of the problems that are in drone sports right now with new designs and solving problems. It's about looking at what is weak or what is underperforming and figuring out a way to make that more robust. There's all these little things that we're troubleshooting. This worked, but if we can move this over this little bit, then this is where Fusion 360 comes in. What I like about Fusion 360 is that it's a tool that moves at the speed of thought. I'm able to just sit down, get into a flow, and start coming up with ideas and checking them and testing them. From within Fusion, we're able to go right out to our CNC machines. We're able to go right out to our 3D printers. And we can get iterations that day and then put them in the air and see how it performs. Design, iteration, test, design, iteration, test. It happens very, very fast in this lab. I'm able to basically collaborate over the web. I just link my file right to my team. My team can plug in, spin that model around, make comments right on the model itself that I can then transpose and put right back into the design process. I really look at this industry like the skateboarding industry. Like we are in the Zephyr years, you know, like we're the Aldas and Peraltas. We're approaching a new gold rush and a new golden era. I love innovating, I love creating, I love inventing. And so I can't imagine a better time to live in than right, right here today. It's amazing.